Good morning, guys. It is currently 5.58 a.m. Jake and I are on the way to, well, we're soon to be on our way to the Columbus, Ohio Zoo, which is about three hours from us. We live in, like, south central Indiana, and the Columbus Zoo is in the northwest corner of Ohio. So, and it's also, like, heat advisory, hottest day of the year, so... But we realized that pretty soon we won't be able to do this if we have children. So we might as well take advantage of our ability to just spur the moment, go and do things. And uh, yeah. Do you know what time it is? Hello? Do you know what time it is? Yep. Do you know what time it is? Time to go see a moose? It's 6.03 a.m. sir. We are three minutes behind schedule. Well, we have a three hour, or two, two hour and 43 minutes drive, and it doesn't open for three hours. So I've got a bit of leeway. It's supposed to be a hot day today, isn't it? It is, yeah. Will the crowds be heavy? <laughs> Are you expecting large crowds today, though? I would expect large crowds from Zoom Easy. That's what hot days, that's where all Well, we're not going okay. to the water park, so we should be okay. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. You too.
Made it to the zoo. We have Jake all sunscreened up because he's a ginger and he roasts. So I'm going without sunscreen because I would like to get some color. And we are out. The lady said the water park should be busy, but the zoo itself probably won't be too bad considering how hot it is today. But we shall see. and the penguins and I think that was it. We did a drive by through the Congo. It's just too unbearably hot. It says it's 95 right now so I'm assuming it feels like 105. Um, Jake got some mostly melted mid dipping dots right before we left. So now he's gonna sit in the car, eat his dipping dots. I'm probably gonna make him stop so I can get a tea or something from Starbucks on the way home. And uh, I'm guessing he's gonna wanna go directly home, but we'll see. Hot, but well worth it. This is one of the best zoos I think we've been to, so for sure worth the drive. Well, ask me that at the end of the three hours it takes to get home. 
so guys we have almost made it home it is 5 40 um still worth the drive the zoo is still totally worth the drive um i don't know if i ever put up the vlog 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 a while back where jake's ac went out in his car it has some kind of leak but they're not sure where it is so like we had to pay to recharge it and then they put dye in there and then we had to wait for it to run out again to like fix it because technically we've traded this vehicle in um well it's starting to go finally so tuesday it has to go back to the dealership so they can fix whatever's wrong with the freon system i'm sure it's going to be stupid expensive and then we get to pay to recharge it again which is another 200 and some dollars ridiculous because the freon itself is like five bucks the rest of that is labor um we went to we stopped in our town went to the butcher jake's gonna make ribeyes and mashed potatoes and corn for dinner he's a superhero because y'all know i ain't about to make no full dinner after getting up at five o'clock in the morning and walking around in the heat all day and went to the grocery store had to get batteries i'll explain later but basically our fire system keeps malfunctioning over some double a batteries and when it goes off in the middle of the night it causes the dogs to break out so but yeah we shall be home within like five minutes ten minutes very soon so we are home and I'm so excited. So on Amazon Prime Day, they had these like no-name Dysons on sale. So we bought one. I have no idea if it's any good, but it supposedly has a, vac or, um, a mattress attachment, which is why I bought it. So I'm about to open it up and find out. So initial, my house is disgusting. I'm gonna clean a little bit, I think, after dinner. Initial response is it feels very cheap plastic, but um, I used the floor part on the floor. It worked decently well for like spot cleaning. Obviously, you're not going to deep clean with it. And uh, I tried the furniture slash mattress attachment, which is what I really wanted. It works perfect. So I'm happy. Anyways, now I'm going to wash our bed clothes. That way, after I take a shower tonight, I can sleep in. Here and sheets. Jake's making dinner and uh, yeah we'll see if I film anything else tonight. Not sure if I will but I will check in and make sure to close out the vlog so talk to you guys in a bit. Good morning guys. I did not end up ending the vlog last night. Uh, took a shower, crawled into bed, watched some Netflix, passed out. The only other noteworthy thing that I did that was kind of a fail was I had bought batteries to replace them and all the smoke detectors because our fire system is, they take batteries as a backup but they're hardwired together and it keeps them functioning. Well, they don't all take AA batteries. Half of them take 9 volts. I don't know why they're different but they are so that was a fail. So now I have to get 9 volts today because I am so tired that thing going off randomly in the middle of the night when everything is fine. So anywho, I'm going to end this vlog and uh, I will talk to you all soon. Bye!